Mutorwa made the call at the inauguration of the members of the Engineering Council of Namibia. The Engineering Council of Namibia decides on the requirements on which an engineer or companies qualify for recognition. However, in recent years, many engineers are left frustrated after they approach the Council for Registration and Recognition. Mutora called on the Council to exercise their powers as provided for by the law in a fair manner. When people complain, no, the Engineering Council, there's nothing that they are doing unless you neglect what your powers are. When we started informally, there was reference to the issue of the registration of professional engineers, engineers in training. It's one of your powers of the council. Mutora ordered the council to organize an induction workshop for all members so that they can be taken through the ropes to avoid instances of them failing to execute their mandate. 32 years after independence, we're still receiving letters of frustrated, particularly young people. Young people who have academically completed their studies, their work, now maybe they want some mentoring and so forth, or to consider their applications. Then they come here, some of them crying, really, and you feel sorry. Then I ask myself, what is the Engineering Council doing? He also urged them to avoid personal conflicts, infightings, division, tribalism, and racism. Accepting her new role, the newly elected president, Sophia Teki, says the engineering profession in Namibia has gone a bit down compared to the past, adding that it is time to bring back the glory of the profession. I really feel it's about time to show it in action and not only in words. Words have become very everywhere. We talk about these things. A lot of our young engineers are frustrated at the moment, very frustrated. We need mentorship. We need to bring the gray-haired engineers and everybody, women, men, young people together on board and work for one vision and one purpose. And that is to bring professionalism back into engineering. Timo Andreas, NBC News. Ventuk.